Alrighty, guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Hello, booty booties. <laughs> so, for today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Foodie's newest upload. She uploaded this like an hour ago 12 inch chicken teriyaki sub, which, like, girl. You got, just got all those groceries, apparently. Said you weren't going to be eating out as much. The fuck is this? <laughs> good lord, dude. Good lord. Um, but yeah, you know, we're focusing on our health this year, clearly. Um, I don't have, like, too, too much to say about it, to be honest. I just kind of want to dive on in. I'm sure whenever she eats bread, it's always, like, ten times more chewing. So... I have a feeling this is going to be a shorter video, um, but we'll see, guys. We'll see. Let's check out what Flobber Bobber's got to say to us today, shall we? When you put too many things on your sub, it's chaos. Agreed, y'all. They don't be knowing how to make fucking Subway sandwiches anymore because I load that shit up. <laughs> she does not need all that bread, though. Oh, my God. That's like... It's not just 12 inches long, it's also like 6 inches wide. Like, what the fuck? Well, hello, Salam alaikum, welcome back to another video. Today I have some... Um... Sub stop, I'm just making sure this one is mine. Because... Sorry, y'all, I completely spaced out. <laughs> I was just like staring at the fucking carpet for no reason. Oh, this is also after I just filmed and edited an over hour long Big Cherry Retro React for tomorrow. So I'm sure y'all can imagine just how fucking drained I am right now. So Lot and I both got the same kind of sub, but... Yeah, so you could have the, <laughs> the foot long of it. Different toppings. Is this mine? Yeah. 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 So I got chicken teriyaki, one of my favorite kinds. I mean, it literally sounds like, you know, Subway. Just had to do the two six inches, of course. Bismillah. Mm hmm. Wow. Very messy. Okay. Too many onions. Oh, girl, please. You love that shit. You're going to be smelling it up for Salah later. Too many onions, bro. Bleh. I need a bite. I'm so hungry. Do it. Ew. Girl, what? Did you, like, just wake up? I have a anti-pasta salad coming from Tony Soprano Pizzeria. <laughs> I'm excited. Mm. <laughs> oh, this video is going to be so gross. Yes, salam. Mm. My brain wouldn't even work. Well, that doesn't sound surprising. <laughs> I don't want chips. Potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> Ew, fuck potatoes. But this bread, mmm. I'll show you what I ate so far today. If I have to eat another home-cooked meal right now, I'm gonna faint, okay, so. Girl, bye. It's been what, a fucking day and a half? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The concept of overnight oats has always kind of been iffy to me. Homemade curried hash browns, eggs, cheese, tomato. Okay, I I guess homemade. I just like really was craving something. <laughs> oh wow, those two meals. Good job, girl. Thing take out eat. Ew. Well, maybe if you could hold the sandwich like a real person, you know, it would maybe not be falling apart with every bite you take. There you go. Bring the other one up. It's time. So I have 12 inch chicken teriyaki with cheddar cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, green peppers, black olives, sweet teriyaki, sweet onion teriyaki. 
I mean, that's just about all the vegetables that I get on my sandwich, not gonna lie. Except I also do banana peppers and maybe jalapenos, depending on the vibe. Yaki sauce, mayo and Southwest sauce, salt and pepper. Girl, what? You have mayo and Southwest sauce on there too? Jesus, fuck. No wonder it's a fucking mess. So what's going on? I missed you guys. Did you? Because I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it was nice to have a bit of a break from this. I was reading these Reddit articles and... Girl, why? I went down a loophole and one article wrote, led to another as usual. Yo, it's literally dripping with sauce, dude. I mean, I, I like a saucy sandwich, but to have three different condiments on it? Oh my God. So messy. Oh. They won't even let you have that option here. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. I better take this off. I don't want it to get super messy, so. Yeah, she's looking bigger. Anyway, it's about, the article was about um, dumb things that people were bullied for in school. <laughs> Is it an article or a thread? And this one girl, she was bullied for standing next to a tree. And they used to call her tree girl because of that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes it's just real fucking stupid and funny. You know those other kids that were fucking making fun of her. <laughs> fucking, oh my God, got nothing going on in their lives. And it reminded me of like my own problems in elementary school of being bullied yeah and now you've become the bully girl like n i don't think too many people have sympathy for people that were like i was bullied as a kid and then they turn around and bully others that's usually not something that like people have sympathy for you know so what's this all in preparation for huh for the dumbest things are you gonna equate this to your haters one of them was because i used to get i used to wear these like matching jumpsuits <laughs> from sears jesus girl stuff it in sears was like the department store when i was growing up and for christmas or a special occasion i would always get gifted these hideous matching jumpsuits like yeah when you're big wearing all one color it uh, it's hit or miss it would just be like you know purple i remember when i had it was purple it had those stirrups straps at the bottom what the fuck to keep your pants on i guess i don't know what what they were for to keep your pants tucked into your shoes i guess matching purple sweater <laughs> so her legs just looked like some tubes and it had like little frilly bows on it yeah and i always knew that i was getting that because it would be a box shape they were packaged in like white boxes that said sears and the box almost like a cake box but longer so if you're having trouble doing two meals that are home cooked how the fuck are you going to do ramadan girl be so for real. And of course I could never complain. Be rude. I highly doubt that. You know? You sounded like a complainer. She's already done that first half. Holy shit. I was actually taught to say thank you no matter what I received. So, no more clothes, thanks. I'm gonna get bullied. I remember in grade eight, I apparently looked like Ricky Lake. <laughs> so that was my nickname, Ricky Lake. <laughs> or um it was fucking funny so messy well girl i wonder why that bread is literally like breaking apart because there's so much sauce also like i had different hairstyles so that was when i had like shorter hair when i had long hair and bangs straight across they called me china <clears throat> why oh my god Ew. Girl, it's literally falling apart. Well, if you put too many things on your sub, it's chaos. The guy are just staring at it. Ew. I cannot move. Ew. This is so foul. Just really dumb names. Yeah, it's stupid. Kids are stupid. We know this. That China one, though, that sounds a little racially motivated. Anyway, I thought that was funny.
Okay. I'm sure there's other things. You know the sandwich is fucked when you have to go from the end. <laughs> of course, being called welfare, welfare girl, too. That's different. I would consider those other things just, like, casual dumb teasing. That is, like, actual bullying. They put so much um, chicken. <laughs> Couldn't be a subway here, that's for fucking sure. You can say double the meat, please, and they'll give you even less. Last night. Or the last time I slept, anyway. <laughs> Where? What? That's a weird way to put that. Um. This is so disgusting, the fucking chewing noises, you guys. Oh my god. So I came for a visit to Canada, and I took him to, uh... Ew. My favorite restaurant. <laughs> of course. St. Hubert, one of them. And yes, I know, I do dream about food a lot. I bet you do, girl. You got food fucking stuck to your sleeve. And we're seated outside, and it starts to get cold. And we're seated kind of next to somebody. So I'm like, let's go inside. So we go inside, and this waiter's like, oh, sure, right this way. They see us inside, but they see us right in front of this elderly couple who are, like, really close to us, like this. Did the dream stress you out this much that you need to go and stuff your face about it? So we asked to move again to the area with booths because it's more empty, which is usually the other way around. And then make sure the table can move. And it did, so. Incredible. How is there still five minutes left? <laughs> An olive. Is it lost? Oh. Girl, you're really searching that hard for one fucking olive. So we're sitting now. Doing the usual couple stuff. I love you, blah, blah, blah. Oh. <laughs> Who the fuck are you looking off to? And then a dessert comes for him, and it's a millefeuille. The fuck is that? It's a French dessert. I'll show you a picture. It's really good. Okay, I've had those before. Honestly, I just thought it was like a tiramisu kind of thing. I realize that everything I bought is like you have to cook it. <laughs> no shit. So cooking three times a day, I don't know how people do it. It's hard. Tiny violin, I know. At least mm -hmm. I have food, I know. All right, so... The dream, yeah, it was weird. And then we were staying at my mom's. Oh, I have rice pudding. I'll be right back. Oh my god, dude. How can you still eat after that? Okay. I made this today. <sighs> I made a lot of things today. <sighs> my first time ever making this rice pudding. In Arabic, it's Rose Habib. There was like a burnt bit. A few burnt bits. How'd you burn it? The only thing missing is uh, some cinnamon. Raisins. Ew. I like raisins. I just don't know why people put it in everything. I can taste the burn. Well, I'm curious as to how you managed to burn it. Smoky rice pudding. Oh, that's a flop. Because I burned. <laughs> that's a flop. From the bottom of the pan. When you burn the bottom, like burn the bottom of the pan, of the pot, that's all, it, the taste permeates everything you're cooking and ruins it. Good thing I didn't make a big batch because I wanted to try it. I mean, I guess, girl, but you don't like it, so what, you're just going to throw it out? How much rice did you fucking use for that? Anyway, my guys, I'm not going to bother you with details about this dream, but I don't know. I have really vivid dreams all of the time. At least every night I dream. I don't remember the last time I slept where I didn't dream. I mean, everybody dreams apparently every night, but a lot of people don't remember their dreams. Yeah. And like, my grandmother was like- I don't need to, I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't like them when they happen. Like that. She had dreams so rarely that she, on the odd time that she did, it would be like a big deal for her and she would have to tell me all about it. But yeah, she like never had, Dreams, like, when I do have them, it does impact, like, have an actual impact on me. Because it feels like they've been bottled up and whatnot. So when they come out, it's just, like, super real. And, ugh, I, I don't like them. I have nightmares a lot. <laughs> um, she never had dreams. I remember her telling me that. 
So yeah, anyway, we also went and got some decorations for Ramadan. I was going to film that, but the stores were so busy. I bet you had a great time. And like really jam-packed, like, <clears throat> excuse me. And it was really loud. So I don't know, maybe um, I will do shopping vlogs like when we're out, whenever it's like, you know, better conditions. <laughs> That's why I like to film when there's no one around because you don't have to worry about that. Like people looking at you filming and stuff. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine that's uh, embarrassing. <laughs> um, so yeah. Anyway, which is something I didn't really care about at, too much in Canada, although I still did sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes you get shy of it, like. Oh, but I thought the West was just this lawless place where people act so rudely and improper out in public. I don't know. Especially when I was doing car mukbangs and people would pull up beside me. And oh god, dude. I bet that would be so fucking embarrassing. Watching you eat from a steering wheel. Really? <laughs> Can you not park somewhere else? Ugh. Well, poor girl. You don't own the fucking parking lot. Anyway, I guess that's it. So, yeah. I'll see you guys uh, later. Um, whenever. Yo, are you going to do a live? Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Remember that saying? She still seems really like under the weather. <sighs> How are my pillows placed for you guys today? Girl, do you really think we give a shit? <laughs> if my eyes could roll in the back of my head, they would definitely. All right, guys. I roll. <laughs> so that's it. I take care. Say bye. All right, guys. That's it. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> she forgot to edit that part out. Alrighty. Well, guys, what do we think of that? <laughs> this is so, it's so uneventful. Like, what the fuck? Why are these ladies just so boring? <laughs> They're so boring, but so interesting. It's such a weird fucking situation type deal we find ourselves in. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will get this edited and sent out for you. I do hope you enjoyed. I do appreciate you guys stopping on in. This will be like a nice kind of after lunch pick me up, I guess. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.